Hey guys, what is going on? It's Don here from Pandemic Playgrounds, and today we are going to be playing some Snow Runners. This is a more of like an open world sandboxy type game, but instead of building spaceships and stuff, we are going to be working on trucks. I usually have a, a steering wheel and pedals and stuff like that, but that's actually set up for my dirt rally driving and stuff. So I'm actually just going to be playing with the controller because I feel like this type of game does need some sort of throttle control you could say so let's uh, explore this together and see how this game turns out because I i'm very interested in this game first move you should scout press the that button to open the map which i don't know what button is that okay objective is tracked okay i don't see anything but let's get out of that okay oh handbrake what is handbrake right button oh see look at that throttle throttle control you gotta worry about it because if you just gas it all the way you're gonna slide like that so I'm really like light on the throttle right now just so I could ooh, force feedback as well hold the L button and move the right trigger okay so now I'm in low kind of getting a little stuck Hold the left button and press X to activate the four-wheel drive. Okay. You should be in low gear. And then when I'm back in normal terrain, I can take it out. So my point right now, I have to get to that little magnifying glass, I think. So let's get out of low. There you go. Now I'm moving. It's really cool how if I drive over the grass, it's actually deforming that terrain as well. So let's drive over this a little bit. Yeah, look at that. What? Now I'm doing it. I'm not even on full throttle yet. Now I'm on full throttle. Do I go straight or right? I'm gonna go straight. I feel like I should have went right, but uh, I'm gonna go straight. I lowered the music uh, just so it doesn't, because it was really loud before, so you could probably vaguely hear it. Oh, there's like a road right to the right. I should really check my map. Um, okay, it seems like there's a break in the road I could go this way there's like a little off patch over here now let's go straight and see what happens let me know guys if you want to see more of this game I'm just testing it out because I, I enjoy these types of games it's a little bit more challenging than just having to fly through space sometimes and find stuff to do while there's kind of like objectives here. Dangerous water levels. My shoes are getting wet. Alright, getting through here. Full throttling. I wonder how I could change the view because I, I never said anything. First person view would probably be pretty cool. Okay, so fueling station. You can refuel near any vehicle, maybe potentially carry fuel, refueling is free. Try refueling as often as possible, okay. Okay, let's go. Do I go this way? Map. I could go this way, or I could take this way. Hmm. Let's choose this way. I ain't going through that water. Ugh. Almost fell in. You gotta be really careful with these terrains. Okay, cutting this. Note the watch tower head. It's an icon, detect the texture zone nearby. Okay. So I'm supposed to be here. You see that blue little grid? There you go, I'm at the watchtower. Good job, you discovered the first watchtower. We'll reveal paths of the map to repair the bridge. We'll need a bigger vehicle to transport materials. Open your map to look for your surroundings. 
Find the truck capable of transport materials that needed to repair the bridge. Okay. So there's a truck here and a lumber mill here. So I need to get the truck from here, probably go to the lumber mill, grab materials, and then head back to, where was that bridge? Here? To fix it. Oh, there's also more stuff over here. Now that I unlocked this little map. Cool. All right. So I have to get back out onto this road, go up this way, and then get to my truck. Easy enough. Oops. I feel like this is the way. So this game is actually multiplayer, so I'm feeling if if this game is actually fun, I'll have David join us in this as well, so we could have uh, we could accomplish missions in multiplayer. Come on, I don't want to go into low. Made it. That should be the lumber mill, and I just gotta make a left past there a little bit to pick up my truck. Dirt rally style, cutting the... Ow! Oh, so I could do damage to a truck like that. Uh, press the up arrow to get more details. Okay. Show damage. Uh, uh, my engine. My engine is 97 now, not 100. Okay. So I gotta be careful. Can't dirt rally everything. Alright, I made it to the next point. Picking up my truck now. Alright, so to change trucks... What do I do? Attach trailer, stop engine, change trucks. Oops, I pressed the wrong button. Oh, okay. The best truck for the job. There will be the uh, com the company Steel River Township is waiting for you to repair the bridge. You can find the contract like this one on the menu map. Okay, so press the menu, and I have to find the contract. You switch to the contracts tab. Contracts are large objectives that take time and preparation to complete, and often require scouting the area first. Okay, so how do I go to contracts? Right button. Steel River Township. Okay. And Michigan is uh, is no stranger to poor weather conditions. From the frigid winds coming down to the Great Lakes to and winters cold enough to drive one's truck on ice for fishing to have to heavy rains and devastating floods, destroying infrastructure and driving people out of their homes. This is the time. The recent downpours were especially harsh to one of the local industries threatening their entire operation in the state. First site has been constructed, drilling operations maintained, drilling operator. Okay, so what do I do? Uh, so I can't get there until I get discover the garage. Is that what they're trying to tell me? Okay, garage not discovered. So I have to find the garage, township storage, sideboard trailer. I thought this was my garage. Did I just steal somebody's truck? Lumber mill, trailer. So let me go down to the lumber mill first. This thing has no four wheel drive, so I don't even know how to get back up here. There's a couple of ways to 
Low, auto load. Okay, not enough storage space. Now I can get back. So. Reconstruct old bridge. Delivers the metal planks. I don't have metal planks. I have wooden planks right now. Okay, so I have to go all the way up there. Additional markers have appeared in the town. This is a storage facility where you're able to pick up and require cargo. Uh, marking here with the broken bridge indicate delivery location. Let's go check out the town storage. So what does that mean? We are now ready to repair this. Truck has space. Truck has space for cargo. Every truck for a trailer, different cargo capacity in the slot. Find the materials you need on the bridge and deliver them to the bridge. Okay, so I got the wood and I'm guessing the metal is here. Right, can I go in? No, let's go here. Okay. Can I even get it there? Because that's broken. Yeah, why not? I'm gonna go this way. That's pretty cool that you actually got to discover new locations to finish uh, missions, and you don't really have to do missions. Uh, you should, but you don't really have to, which is pretty cool. Alright, am I going to be able to get through this? I'm just going to full steam ahead. Oh yeah, oh yeah, took it like a champ. This thing handles better than my four wheel drive truck. Big rock. Ooh, that slid. That was a weird physics. Okay, gotta make a left turn here. Make sure I get this right. Ooh, now I'm on regular road. Okay. It's cool. Once you change gears, my uh, force feedback or the, it kicks back. Okay, cargo management. Unload. Why can't I unload? How do I do this? Cargo management. Oh, it needs metal planks first, so I can't unload this. I need to head back to where I was. To unload the wood to get the metal. Okay. Alright. That kind of sucked. I thought I didn't have to do it in that order, but... I guess you do. It's alright, this truck can handle it. Might have to fuel up. Fuel up. Um, head into town, get the metal, okay.
the driving physics isn't doesn't feel true it's kind of clumsy in a sense like I don't know how to explain it doesn't feel as realistic as I think it should have how do I unload this oh Does that mean I couldn't remove the cargo? I don't know. You know what? I'm gonna head into town and try to find some metal. And hopefully finish this at least the first mission. Why do I turn on headlights and stuff? Okay, I gotta keep this momentum going because if I stop, I don't think I'm gonna get this going again because it's so heavy. Bouncy, bouncy. Alright, I'm in town. Get over to that first. Looks pretty cool the graphics though. I was busy, too busy spinning that around. Where am I there? Fuel station. This is uh, a trailer, sideboard trailer, lumber mill. And there's a trailer here, and there's something here. Maybe I could load. There you go. I just need one. But it uses both the spaces. Okay, so I got that. So technically, I could pull a trailer too, which is right here. Don't know what that's filled with, but I could head back to the lumber mill. And from the lumber mill, I could actually pick up that trailer that I just saw and pull the wood that way. What? It's so slow right now. At least it's not raining, and I could probably get through all this stuff. Go this way, go back down this. Um, oh, there's a trailer right there, too. Once I fix this bridge, I should be able to unlock a new area and hopefully get more vehicles. Oh my god. This bouncy road just damaged my engine. I don't know about you guys. I know I'm not talking much, but guys, I'm trying to pay attention, but it's actually pretty fun. Look at that, it's already got two lumber on there. Uh, 
attached trailer. Trailer too far away. Do I have to be like right on top of it? I do. Now I'm like almost stuck. Okay. Shouldn't have went in this way. I should have went in from the side. So let's get out of here and slowly get back in. Uh, how do I use winch? Attach winch to how do I attach the winch? Attach winch because I somehow did that. I don't know how. Select the winch point. Okay, so I'm gonna winch. Guess here, yeah. Okay. to pull at the same time. Come on. You could do it. You could do it. The winch function is actually really cool. Uh, come on. Can I use the winch again? Ooh, I can. Let's see. Select the winch point. Okay. Is there anything else I could attach it to? I could try that. There you have it. Switch it back to auto mode. Got it out with that winch, which is really cool. Now I have two loads of delivery and a metal. All in one shot. Probably have to stop at the fuel station right after this. Ooh, I'm flying through this. Ooh, I wonder how I'm going to do during that water thing. Alright, here we go. Nailed it. It's too heavy. 
almost made it to the road. I'm gonna get there soon, very soon. Come on. There we go. Coast on in there before I hit anything. Huzzah! I made it. Cargo management. Cool. Nice. New driver rank unlocked to access your driver profile. Press the down arrow key. Every contract complete, you provide you with money and experience points. Every watchtower discovered will reward your experience. XP allows you to unlock new drivers, ranks necessary to unlock new vehicles and upgrades. You can track your progress with the down menu. Okay. Objective, find a garage. It's probably through that area. Do I want to keep this truck? Or do I want to go back and pick up my pickup truck? Alright, you know what? Um, let's see. Because that's the watchtower that I need to get to. And I don't feel like hauling this around. And I do need to remove this beam. So I gotta go here and make a right. And did I discover everything I need to in this town? I didn't go here. There was another trailer here. There's another trailer here. And my truck is here. Oh, if I was to go up there, okay, can I change trucks? Hmm, I can't change trucks. All right, you know what? I'm going to leave this for another episode. I'll decide what I'm going to do then. When I'm going to take a new truck or find my garage and go into a new town. Because um, this was a pretty fun uh, experience. I'm going to probably jump cut a little bit of the stuff that I didn't need. Uh, but overall, I really enjoyed this first little bit of the game. So I'm going to continue playing this. Let me know if you guys uh, want to see more of this or not. But um, yeah, that was pretty fun actually. Uh, and I'll see you guys uh, next time.